Hello, this is Brooks Whittington with HalfWheel.com. Today we're taking a look at the Donatus Big Cut, a pair of cigar scissors made in the town of Soligen, Germany. Now, Soligen is known as a city of blades due to the large number of manufacturers who produce knives, swords, razors, that kind of thing. It's been around since medieval times. Donatus, not a lot of information and history about the brand, but we do know that it has been producing cutters since at least the 1950s. Very different cutters, very a lot smaller cutters, obviously, uh, since the uh, ring gauges have, uh, have increased in size dramatically since the 1950s. So as I mentioned before, this cutter is a pair of cigar scissors named the Big Cut. Uh, the measurements, it's about 6.1 inches long by 2.25 inches wide. And to give you an idea on what that means, we have here a standard U.S. bill. And you can see that the actual size is about the exact same length as the bill itself. Almost exactly. Uh, it weighs about 2.9 ounces, and the entire cutter is made of surgical steel, except for this little bump here. As you can see, that bump right there is actually made of rubber to make sure that the uh, pieces don't, the uh, sides don't uh, click together. So there's six different versions of this cutter that are being sold ranging in price from about $160 to $205, depending on the conversion rate from euros. There's the Big Cut Polished, which this one specifically is, the Big Cut Satin, Big Cut Gold Plated, which, as you can imagine, is pl plated in gold, uh, Big Cut Ceramic Polished, Big Cut Ceramic Matte, and the Big Cut Shot Blasted. All right, so let's cut some cigars. As I mentioned before, the Big Cut is basically just a large pair of scissors with a uh, with rounded uh, blades. And so, in order to cut a cigar, it is a fairly simple process. Although there are some things that you can do to make it more manageable. And the holes are actually built specifically for specific fingers. And so, you have your pinky finger, your... Uh, ring finger and middle finger go in the larger hole and your thumb goes in the smaller hole when you're holding it you want to make sure that the logo is down towards the cap you open it up by you know doing this uh, here like a, like a normal scissors would and you take the cap of the cigar and put it into the opening making sure the logo is towards the cap now you can make sure exactly how much you're cutting off. Very cool thing about this uh, specific cutter is that you can see exactly how much you want to cut off. And so you put it into the opening. And what I found is that if you actually push against that cap just a little bit as you're cutting, you get a much cleaner cut. Not too much because you'll, you'll bust the wrapper, but it's just a little bit as you're cutting through. So you put it in. Make sure you have just exactly how much you want. And then you cut through. All right, so I thought we'd go through some uh, quick um, ideas about whether this is a portable cigar cutter or not. And while I was able to carry it around in my pockets, um, three of them, my uh, front pocket, my back pocket, uh, and my uh, I wear cargo shorts a lot, so uh, my side pockets, um, it's definitely something that's fairly uncomfortable when you're walking around. You don't... Um, there's never a time in when you don't really know that it's not there. Um, it's definitely heavier than your normal... Um, you know, smaller cutter, cutter for sure. And also, obviously, with the footprint, it's obviously a little bit more uh, problematic in terms of carrying it around with your front pocket, especially. Um, I put it in my back pocket a lot with my phone, um, and there was no issue there until I sat down somewhere. I had to take it out and put it into another pocket because it's just uncomfortable. Um, but you really... It's, it's definitely portable. You can definitely carry it around. But in terms of uh, having a bag or a travel humidor of some sort, um, you can definitely use that um, to your advantage, having that, that extra space to your advantage to be able to carry this around. For the most part, I carried around this, this around in my bag uh, with my computer, camera, and that kind of thing. And uh, it worked like a charm. Never had any issues whatsoever. Um, easy to take out and easy to find. Um, so there's that. It is light. Uh, it is um, definitely thin. Uh, but in terms of a portable cutter, um, I definitely would not buy this as a, just as a 
cigar cutter either you're going to carry around um, for no other reason than to carry it around in your pocket. So I thought we'd go through some good things and some bad things about the uh, Donatus Big Cut Cutter. Um, it's definitely uh, got some really, really great advantages. And after using it for about a month on every cigar that I reviewed, um, I can tell you that um, there's definitely some some great things about it, and some things that I wish were not you know were not necessarily the case. Uh, real quick, the first really great thing is the fact that it works like a charm, and it's easy to use. So when you're actually picking it up and using it, it works just like a pair of scissors, as we mentioned before. And so if you can use a pair of scissors, you can use this cutter. Um, the blades are sharp. The blades, you know, 95% of the time, I had no issues with um, with cuts on cigars. Uh, it definitely cuts um, torpedoes a little bit um, better in terms of um, how you're actually cutting it and how, how the cuts come out. Uh, but in terms of, you know, any, any, anything that I threw at it, it basically was able to handle with no problems whatsoever. Um, the balance on this is excellent. Um, and when you first time you pick it up, you really realize that um, th it's very, very well balanced. Um, it's not going to go forward on you or anything or back on you, depending on where you're holding it. And that really helps when you're actually cutting cigars to make sure that the, you know, where you want to put it is actually where it goes. Um, it's definitely well designed. I love the look of it. I love, you know, how it feels in your hand when you're actually using it. Um, and that goes along with the actual uh, design of the uh, finger holes as well. You have no idea, no problem knowing exactly where to put them and how to use it. You pick it up, you cut a cigar, you put it down. Uh, it really is uh, very user friendly. Also, the actual price of the cutter comes with this nice leather sheath that fits the actual blade blades cutter uh, like a glove. It basically fits in there. It is not any more um, thick than the actual cutter itself. Um, no more thicker than it has to be. They could have used this, they could have made this quite a bit thicker uh, and they didn't. Um, so it's very nice in terms of that. It's very easy to carry around, um, very high quality and it, it really protects the cutter very, very well. Also, you can actually put this in either way and it fits. One way fits better, but you can actually put it in either way. So you don't have to worry about when you put it in and which way you put it in necessarily. Now. Uh, some not so great things about it. Number one is obviously the price. Um, $162 is a lot of money. And um, definitely it's, it's, it's worth that in terms of what you're getting with the quality of the materials and uh, how easy it is to use and the, you know, the, the, the craftsmanship. Um, but it's definitely still a lot of money, especially for a cutter that you're not necessarily going to carry around as much as a smaller cutter. And that's the second thing that I wish wasn't necessarily the case is the fact that it's just not easy to carry around. The last thing that I uh, really wish was not the case is the fact that it's really easy to, it's really, it's, it's a dust magnet. It's a, it's a magnet for um, fingerprints, things of that nature. And so when you're looking at it, you can absolutely see how the um, dust and everything settles on there. And it's very easy to see you know, fingerprints. Uh, it's easy to wipe off as well. And this probably is only for, um, I would imagine, only for uh, finishes like this one, the, uh, the actual um, uh, mirror finish. Um, but it's very, very obvious when you pick it up that the dust is all over it. Um, you can clean it off very easily, um, but just be aware of that uh, if you're showing it off or something that uh, maybe you want to wipe it down first. So after all of this, everything is said, can I recommend the Donatus? big cut cigar scissors the answer is yes um it's it looks great it works great it cuts cigars very very well um it's sharp um it definitely is built to last made of quality materials um there are a few issues number one the price and number two uh it's not easy to carry around um but in terms of how it looks how it works and whether it actually will cut cigars well over and over again, the answer is absolutely. Um, this is a perfect cutter for something like um, a table or, or something like, a, a, you know, when you have a group of friends around um, and, uh, or even a store of some sort, um, although I definitely chained it to make sure it didn't walk away. Uh, but in terms of the actual um, value for the money, I would say that it's definitely there if you're looking for a pair of cigar scissors that are well built, sharp, and actually cut cigars very, very well and is easy to use. Uh, I would say that you uh, just can't go wrong with this one. So, 
for halfwheel.com. This is Brooks Whittington. For all your half wheel and cigar review news needs, go to halfwheel.com.